The branch will be closed from next month. Everyone here will be resigning due to company circumstances. When we were told that, our eyes widened. Some employees have the option of transferring to the headquarters or resigning. However, we, the younger ones, were cut off at the same time as the company's performance deteriorated. Ugh, what should I do? It's only been about half a year since I joined the company. My name's Yuga Higata, walking with my shoulders slumped. I'm a 23-year-old new graduate office worker. Wait, I don't qualify for unemployment benefits unless I've worked for more than a year, do I? Whoa, I wonder what will happen to my life. Alright then, break up with me. I owe you a favor, but I can't take this. I started living with my girlfriend when I graduated from college. And when I talked to my girlfriend, Emi Kashiwa, she told me that... Honestly, it's impossible for you, my fiancé, to become unemployed in just six months. But it's due to force majeure. No, unemployment benefit or retirement allowance and being unemployed? You're the same as those scumbag dropouts out there. Oh yeah, I'll take our savings as your alimony. That's how I lost my job, girlfriend, and savings. What should I do from now? And this room is rented. I should leave soon. The soup kitchen is here. Please line up. And then came the end of the year. I became unemployed at the same time as the branch closed, and the rest of my salary was wiped out by moving costs and other expenses. Why am I doing this again? The end of the year was supposed to be fun, but now I'm even having trouble getting my own food for today. The joint savings taken by my ex is not a big deal since both hadn't worked for long, but we were sharing rent, so that was bad. I wonder what will happen to me. My parents, both archaeologists, live overseas. It's difficult to even contact them, let alone rely on them. How can I find a new job in such a state? Huh? This is the Employment Support Corner. We support those who are willing to work. I guess I should go there. What kind of support can they give me now? I wonder. Suddenly, I came across a job board in front of the employment support desk. Whoa, I'm not in a position to demand much, but aren't they too obviously exploitative? The first thing I saw was a job offer with a minimum wage, and others are similar too. They are all jobs that clearly wouldn't attract anyone. Still, this is all I have for now. The moment I took a step forward to take a closer look, feeling resigned. Oh, right! I got a young worker! Huh? What? Suddenly my arm was grabbed, and I let out a stupid voice. Well, I'm lucky to be able to find a guy so easily. She grabbed me by the nape and dragged me away. Wait, wait! Just be quiet. Well, the Okonomiyaki restaurant I was brought to was in shambles. She sat in front of me, looked at me as I was confused, and opened her mouth with a grin. My name is Kururi Soga. And you? H Hyuga Higata. Um, why am I here? Okonomiyaki restaurant? <laughs> it went out of business, so I bought it. After I graduated from high school, I started playing around. But my parents had an accident a while ago. And I received a considerable amount of inheritance, alimony, and insurance premiums. I made them worry a lot when they were still alive. So I was like, let's do something decent. Jeez. Why did they just pass away so suddenly? She shrugs her shoulders and says so playfully, but she seems regretful. But honestly, she should be more careful. I give her a slightly stunned look and warn her. You know, don't just talk about money to random people. What if I was a bad guy? Yes, that's it! What I wanted was someone with common sense, like you! Huh? Huh? Me and my friends are full of idiots. Please work with me! It was already two years ago that something like that happened. Hyuga, when you're done, clean up the second table. Alright. Oh, hello. Do you want to order? Please wait a moment. The shop that was once an Okonomiyaki restaurant has now become a small izakaya, and is doing reasonably well. Right now, I'm living at her house and officially working at her izakaya every day. Ooh, nice work! She's Madoka Ikura, a former delinquent friend of Kururi's, and she's now a cooking staff member with a chef's license. Our business hours at Lovko Izakaya are 5 to 11 p.m. 
Good work, Madoka! Today's appetizer was well received! Whoa, seriously? So shall I make it again? Well then, I guess I should make something for ourselves? Madoka went to the kitchen, and after we finished cleaning up, Kururi and I sat waiting for food to be served. <laughs> Everything is going well! I'm glad I scouted Hyuga that day. Hey, I didn't do anything. It's all thanks to Kururi's hard work, right? It's all thanks to Hyuga's support! All right, all right. It's probably the result of you both working well together. Before we knew it, Kotori and Madoka placed the food in front of us. Kururi only knows how to move forward without thinking much, and Hyuga supports her to achieve more results than expected. Aside from that... You've been living together for two years now, so get married already! Mary? Mary? Our voices overlapped. <laughs> Idiot! This guy is just a roommate! We don't have that kind of relationship! That's right! That's right! But a man and a woman living under the same roof? There's no way there's nothing going on. No, there really isn't. I'm just housing this guy who doesn't have a home. In fact, if Hyuga tries to do anything to me, I'll crush him to the point where it's impossible to recover. What? I better make sure I don't make any mistakes. That's what I vowed. An hour later, Madoka wraps her scarf and begins preparing to go home. Well then, I'll go home first. Tomorrow we have a private reservation, right? Yeah, it's year-end party season after all. Okay, well then, good work today. Madoka said so, waving her hand and leaving. Well, don't worry about what they said earlier, okay? Earlier? Oh, marriage and whatnot? <laughs> don't worry. I'm just grateful to have a home to go to. Thank you. As someone who was once homeless, I can truly appreciate it. Ah, you are so insensitive! Huh? And the next day, year-end party season has finally arrived, and today is the first group reservation for the season. We are privately reserved from the opening today. The customer's name is... Musashi Dai Shoji. All seats are reserved. Apparently their employees will come sporadically after work, but don't let other customers come in. Well, since everyone is getting the luxurious year-end party course, it might be easier than usual, but keep up the good work as usual. And today's business starts. It was after 6 p.m. when the customers started to arrive. My name is Musashi Dai Shoji. Is this the restaurant I, full of charm, made a reservation for? M managing director, you made a mistake a while ago, but are you sure this time that you are at the right place? Shut up! This handsome guy can't make so many mistakes. Ah, uh, <laughs> Musashi Daishoji-sama, is it? You're at the right place. Uh, handsome? He is a strange old man. Anyway, today's customer has arrived. Here, draft beer is ready. Was it oolong tea for you? Here's sashimi assortment. Okay, another draft beer coming right up. A group of customers entered, and the restaurant suddenly became noisy, and we started running around. Hyuga, sorry. Deal with the new customers? Okay. Are you a customer with reservation today? I opened my eyes wide in surprise when I saw the person. Emmy. Are you... Hyuga? It's Emmy. I wonder if the company at today's ear and party is where she works. What are you doing, Emmy? Oh, well, I was just surprised to see my ex here. Huh? Ex? Ah, the jobless guy from back then! <laughs> it seems like you used to work at a decent company, but now you're working part-time at a pub? What is it like to live in poverty? <laughs> it seems like you've at least returned to the labor force. I'm at a loss for words. Hyuga, what happened? Was it a customer without a reservation? Suddenly, Kururi comes over, wondering why I'm not moving. Are you a customer with reservation? If so, please come inside. Let's go in. There's no point in talking to a worthless bottom feeder, right? Huh? She grabbed the arm of the man who was about to go in, and Kururi said in a low voice. Hey, wait. Who's the bottom feeder? Are you talking about Hyuga? Huh? What? Hey, let go of me. You're just a useless waitress. 
Yeah? What authority do you have? Ah... So you're those kind of people I see. And Kuduri took a deep breath and... You guys... Don't come into my izakaya! I refuse your entry permanently! Uh huh? What are you saying? Didn't you hear me? I'm telling you to go home! I won't take money from you, so hurry up and go home! She says it in a furious manner, as if to slam her words onto them. Wait! I don't know what happened, but please calm down. What happened, Sarutaku and Kashiwa-san? Could you please explain the situation? M managing director? It was their managing director, Daishoji, who calmed the situation down. After hearing the circumstances from both sides, managing director Daishoji came to the following conclusion. No questions asked. It's your fault. Go home. Huh? Sarutakun, you were recommended by the manager and were scheduled to be promoted to section manager next year. But that's not happening anymore. What? But I'm off duty now, right? It doesn't matter what I do now. Do you think I can promote someone who can casually mock others? And you, if you're gonna turn them to the police, do as you wish. Huh? Police? Why? You took the shared savings as the lemony one-sidedly, right? That's theft. What? Then, these two were chased away by managing director Daishoji with pale expressions on their faces. From this incident, the pub became silent. What should I do with this atmosphere? Um, what should I do? I ended up ruining their year-end party. Don't worry, I should be the one to apologize to you. I'm sorry everyone, as an apology, you can order anything of your choice. It's my treat. Suddenly, with those words, a good atmosphere was restored. On the other hand, that bastard named Mikado Saruta was in a bad mood. Damn, that bottom feeder and pig director. Why am I treated like this? Damn it! Hey, Emmy, let's go out for a drink somewhere. Oh, Emmy? Hmm. Emmy seemed to be thinking about something. <sighs> it's finally over. When the year end party was over, managing director Daisho, she happily paid us and said, It was delicious. At first, I thought he was a weird guy, but he turned out to be a really nice guy. You got good work. It was a disaster, hey? <laughs> good work. Sorry. It seems like I got you involved. What are you talking about? I just followed my heart. This is my restaurant. How can I keep quiet when my important employee is being made fun of? Well, I feel like that old man took all the credits in the end, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I thought I'll never see Emmy again. I was told that I could sue her, but it was not a huge amount, and I just don't want to have anything to do with her anymore. Maybe the reason I realized that this was a dream was because it had already happened in the past. A dream when I had met Emmy. Calm down, please! She's scared! That bitch made a fool of me! At least I think that's what she said! Get out of my way! If I remember correctly, it all started when I helped her after a drinking party. After that, we started dating, and after graduation, we started living together. What a nostalgic dream! At 10 p.m., a few days after that incident, Maroka started talking to me. Yuga, I'm sorry. I forgot to order tomorrow's ingredients. I want to prepare it today, so could you go buy it for me? Sure! At times like this, I go to a nearby supermarket that is open until 11 p.m. I'll be fine on my own here, so I'll leave it to you. So, with permission from the store manager, I put on my jacket and went outside. Emmy? Emmy was outside the store for some reason. It's like she was waiting for me to come out. Hey, Hyuga. I was planning on waiting a little longer, but I didn't expect you to come out this soon. What the heck? I'm still at work, and I don't have anything to say to you. Hey, don't treat me like that. Today I wanted to apologize. Um, sorry, okay? About the breakup? About the alimony? I guess I was too young. Um, I just remembered being saved by you a long time ago. I was grateful, really. 
And so, if you're okay with it, why don't we start over again? Look, I'll pay you back that money too. I crunch my back teeth hard. Does this person think she can be forgiven just like that? Or maybe she's afraid of being sued for theft. In any case, I... Shut up. I have no interest in you anymore. What? Grateful? I have no intention of getting back together with a woman who did what you did to me. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything to do with you anymore. Goodbye. And without even looking back at her, I walked away. So cocky! Three days later, busy days continue as usual at the end of the year. Here, three draft beer! Welcome! Four people? Ah, you have a reservation. I will show you to the private room. Yuga, we have a call. Can I ask you to take it? Yep. When I trot over to the phone that keeps ringing. Yes, thank you for waiting. Love, Goizakaya. We need to reserve for a lot of people. Are there any days when I can make a private reservation? Well, it's this time of year, so... Oh, next Wednesday is good. Really? Great. Then I'll ask you to make a reservation. <sighs> That's the spot. Oh, I'm really tired. Today, after work, we're giving each other massages after taking a bath. This is our daily routine. <laughs> but we're running around the izakaya every day. Isn't it time to increase the number of staff members? Maybe. And if we get more time, we can go on a trip together. <sighs> Looks like she fell asleep. Thank you for your hard work today, Kururi. Well, next Wednesday, we were expecting a large group with private reservation, but no one showed up even after 8 p.m. What is this? I don't know. I'm sure we had a reservation. Anyway, please call them. I immediately called the number I got the other day. Lovko Izakaya here. It's about your reservation for today, but when do you plan on coming? Reservation? No, oh, I'm not going, so cancel it. Huh? No, that can't happen. We have the ingredients ready, and there's a cancellation fee. There's no way I'll pay for that, idiot. With that, the call was disconnected. When I called again, the power was turned off. Damn it! When I told Kururi and Madoka what I had just heard, Kururi shouted. Who does he think he is, that scum? He just ignored the rules and turned the power off. Perhaps there are people like him out there. But those who were attacked by such selfishness suffer so much. I started walking outside. Today, we're offering your Love Goy Gorgeous course at half price! For those who are looking for an izakaya, you're welcome to come in! I raised my voice as loud as I can and announced it to the people passing in front of me. H Hyuga? Why not? I'll try to get customers. After that, customers started coming in little by little and we got busy. People who were simply looking for a place to drink came in. Many customers ended up coming in today as well. Hyuga, it's enough! Help me out! We got busy! Okay. It's been two years since I lost my previous job. I was working hard as a member of this izakaya. Well, some time has passed since then. You're kidding! I... I can't believe I was arrested for something like that! Mikado Saruta and Emi Kashiwa were arrested on charges of obstruction of business by fraudulent means. Our phone has an automatic recording feature. Additionally, Managing Director Daisho, she happened to have run into him when he was saying, Heh! <laughs> It feels good, but Emmy, she's bad to come up with such a plan. Apparently he saw that and reported that to the police. We have left the rest of the court, and as for me, I'm living my daily life as usual. Kururi, I finished cleaning up here. Okay, I'm done here too. Hey, hey, Hyuga, now that Madoka has gone home, why don't we have a quick drink together before heading home? So, before heading home, we sit side by side and have a drink. You know, I'm thinking of adding more workers soon. We don't have much time to rest now, do we? That sounds good. Ah, then we'll have a little more time to spare. C can we go on a trip then? There's something I want to tell you too. <laughs> that sounds interesting. A trip? Where should we go? 
Our relationship will develop further on that trip, but that will be a story for another time.